Good morning, beloved. How are we doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. For today morning, motivation is looking unto Jesus. Yes, that is the topic. Looking unto Jesus. Who are you looking unto? When you have your when you are when your challenges, that your challenges in your confusion, who are you looking unto you? Unto the Bible said, looking unto Jesus is the author and the finisher of your faith. In other words, is the beginning and the ending of all your situation, your doubt. The Bible said, Look on, I will look unto the he. That was the word of Psalmist. We are coming to my help for my help coming from the Lord. So I'm advising you this morning, my beloved. That you should look unto Jesus whenever you are passing through tough time, difficult time, confusion time, time that is not pleasant in your family, in your business, in your decision, in every aspect of your life. We should look unto Jesus. We should gaze our eyes on heaven. That is where comments are ahead. Devil has no rescue. Devil have no. He has no solution to our problem. Somebody said the devil wants to take your head. He will give you a cap. Yes, he has no solution. The only person. The only person. The only. God, the house solution is the Christ we know, the rock of which we stand. The Bible said the thief cometh not to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Have you, have you seen the situation when the thief come and will pamper you? He will just go without doing anything? No, he has not come to he, he came to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But Jesus come to, to deliver us, to save us, to love us abundantly. So we should live, we should lean, we should live and look unto Jesus in heaven. Look unto heaven. He is the source of our solution. He is the source. He, is able, he knows our beginning to the end. He knows what you are passing through. Yes, Jesus knows what you are passing through. don't know. He knows everything. Nothing happened to you on without, and without his notice. Nothing. Nothing happened to him without his notice. Anything that happened to you that you are just so perplexed about, God is aware of it. Because he never sleeps nor slumber. He knows. I told you that time that he has graven you at the palm of his hand. Every time he's looking at you. Yes, you are the apple of his eyes. So everything you are passing through now, God knows about it. The what you are feeling now, he knows about it. You are about to be discouraged. You are about to call it a day. He knows about it. He knows what you are passing through. And he, you know, he might not be the one that constructed it. He might be the one that allowed, allowed it. Like the case of Job. The devil has to go and seek permission from him before he could harm you. That's why I told you that God knows everything you are passing through. He is aware of it. Devil has to take permission because there is an edge built around every one of us because we are his precious seed. Because he created us for his own image. Is that not blossom? Created for his own likeness. So everything that we are passing through, God is aware of it. Nothing happened to you on our way without him. Yes, he's, he's, he's aware of it. So we should rely on him. We should depend on him. We can see how Job depend on him. Job never accused God. He never accused God. Even the wife dares to him, asking to cause God and that. But he said no. He insisted no. He did not cause God. If he caused God, where are you going to? How will, how will you be? No. And we can see how God bless, bless uh, Job. The Bible said the later head of Job was better than the beginning. So there is a blissful day coming to you. If only you look unto you, don't look elsewhere. There is no solution elsewhere. That Bala we are going to, that Habal, that witchcraft daughter, that uh, whatever wizard man you are going to, he has no solution. If he has a solution, he could have done it for himself. He has no solution. That false prophet you are going to, Jesus, every blessing of God is free. Is free. They will not have to bring 10 million. They will not have to bring 10,000. They will not have to bring sacrifice, bring candle. No, no. Every blessing of God is free. The Bible said the blessing of the Lord make it rich and he had no sorrow unto it. So we should look unto Jesus. We should not look elsewhere. Don't allow our friend to deceive us and take us to no destination that we don't know that will also add problems to our heart. That will add, that will multiply our problem. No, we should focus our eyes unto Jesus. As Sammy said, I will look unto the he where comment my head. My head coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Remember, he knows the ends of the earth. Remember, he created heaven and earth out of nothing. He was saying it and it was coming to pass. It was coming to play. Let there be light, there was light. Let there be this, there was this. Let there be this, there was this. That is how God is. He was saying it. Did you know the hands of the earth? Christ knows it. The one that knows the end of the earth, you should trust him. They trust in me. And I will do wonders in your life. Let me tell you, set time is coming. If only you will look unto Jesus. If only you will not derail from, if only you will not be confused. If only you will not be frustrated. I don't know what you are passing through, but God knows. God knows. He said, even the head, even your head, this head is not bad. Yes. 
the God that can you know how many hair you have in your skull, in your scalp. He knows everything. Even the head of your head is not bad. Devil cannot take one without a permission. Devil must take permission. The principality, the wishes that they are doing after you, they must take permission from him before they could do any harm. If he say no, is no. If he say yes, is yes. Yes, I mean it's going to do something in your life. So, my beloved, my blessed people, please let's trust in the Lord. Let's rely on him let's have a refuge in him let's look unto him because he's the finisher is the beginning and the finisher of our faith in him we live in him we move in him we have our being without god we are nothing if somebody can create us and give us breath is is it the person that cannot succor us that cannot deliver us from whatever challenges we are passing through somebody that died for us he paid he paid it all at the cost of calvary is it that same person that will not give you the money you want the wealth you want the children you want the husband the wife you want all the affluence you want he will give it to you abundantly not just give it to you abundantly please Let's rely on to him. Let's look unto Jesus. Is the author and the finisher of our faith. Let me end it here. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my YouTube, on my on my uh, on my Facebook. Follow me on my Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube my YouTube, uh, YouTube page. Bye. Meet you tomorrow. Have a blissful day ahead. Bye.